but I got some really good news. The Tucson sold. I'm gonna break these gears off, get them out of the way. But for right now, what I wanna do is take this thing out for a test drive. Welcome back to another episode of Brook Premier, guys. If you're new to the channel, we've previously been working on the 2011 Kia. And for those of you that have been here, all the parts came in. So I'm super psyched. I can't wait to get started with this. But before I do any of that, I have something new I wanna open and set up and kind of show you guys a little bit and then probably get started with this. This is gonna be a really good episode. So anyway, I'm gonna get started. See you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I think you guys saw that I got a new toolbox and setting that up took a little longer than I thought it would, uh, but check it out. I am pretty stoked with how much space I just gained. For those of you that couldn't tell from the other day that this was completely covered with everything, all my tools used to be kept in the back corner, but finally I have some organization to my life when it comes to this. I love it, it's awesome. So I picked this thing up, thought it would be a nice little treat for me. I've been needing it really bad. But now what I would like to do, start cracking away at changing the timing gears on this thing. My goal is to have this done, this episode, take this thing for a test drive and it all be good. So I'm gonna get after it. See you guys in a bit. All right guys, it is the next day and I don't think I mentioned it yet, but I got some really good news. The Tucson sold. Really stoked, can't believe it. So excited for that thing to be out of my life permanently forever, it feels so good. Uh, I'll get more into the price ball in a little bit, but right now what I wanna do is I want to start taking off the valve cover, take off the timing chain cover and drop the pan. I already unbolted the pan last night. Just need to remove the covers, drop the pan and do the timing. I think we're pretty close. I don't think this should be more than an hour. Now I just jinx myself, it'll be six. So anyway, I'm gonna get after this. Talk to you guys in a bit. The cover is off, took off the timing chain, took off the guides. I think the camera cut out on me doing the guides. But right now what I wanna do is scrape off all this old gasket material because I need to have a clean surface. So before I do that, I'm gonna break these gears off, get them out of the way so that it's easier to get the razor in and clean everything. Then once I clean everything, I'm gonna put on the new gears, put on the timing chain, put back on the guides, put on the tensioner, then probably reseal and put on the timing cover. So that's my goal. I'm gonna get after it. See you in a bit.
timing chain is on, gears are on. Had a little trouble trying to get the intake manifold gear on. I think this thing was just ported out like one hair less than what it should have been. So it did take a little bit of compression in getting it on there, but I do think because it went on that way that the oil compression should be pretty good in the intake manifold side. So pretty happy about that. Put on the new exhaust gear as well. That one went on pretty easy. The old one did have a bunch of backed up oil that like as soon as I took it off just started pouring out. So I'm assuming there was built up pressure in there that just wasn't going through and anything happening. That's what I think. Got the new one in there. I do want to cut the old one open later on just to see if my thoughts were correct. But right now since I ended up cleaning all the contact surfaces of this and I just cleaned off the cover, I want to put the seal on on, put the cover back on, start letting that thing dry while I start setting up to put the valve cover back on. Once both of those are on, probably come back, clean this all up, and put the oil pan back on. So really just trying to wrap the engine back together. If enough happens, I might end up just start throwing on all the belts, all the pulleys, everything. Just get this engine back together and try to get it started in the next couple hours here. So that's the plan. See you in a bit. All right, guys, it is the next day. It's editing day again, but I wanted to wrap up that engine yesterday. I wanted to make sure that I could get this thing out for a test drive. Unfortunately, the missus was home. She was parked behind me. It got late and I just didn't even want to try last night. But what I would like to do right now is take this thing out for a test drive, make sure that all that work was actually worth it. Fingers crossed, I'm really hoping. Uh, I did start it up a little bit last night with the garage open. Sounds a little quieter, but I don't know. I'm still hearing a noise, so I'm just fingers crossed, you know? So anyway, I think I did mention to you guys that I sold the Hyundai and I'm sure some of you are wondering how much did I actually sell it for. And to be honest, I first originally started asking about 7,500 for it, which I knew was a bit aggressive. I didn't think I'd get it, but I figured someone would beat me down probably to around 6,000 for it. But like I said, I think most of the sales kind of slow down from just before Thanksgiving to just after Valentine's Day. And that's pretty much exactly what happened. Right after Valentine's Day, I started getting hit with some serious offers. I almost let it go for like four grand, 3,800 bucks, just because I wanted it out and not to think about it anymore. Luckily, those people who were still saying that weren't serious and finally I got like three serious interests and one finally showed up it was a nice little couple they were younger gonna be a good little car for them anyway sold for five thousand dollars not quite sure how much I actually made on it so I'll probably get into that in the next little clip I gotta kind of do some math on it but for right now what I want to do is take this thing out for a test drive see how it goes see you in a bit
I'm sure you can see by my face that the code is still there. It didn't happen as quickly and the noise isn't as aggressive and it's still pending. It hasn't set, but it still popped up as pending, which means it's still reading it. And now it's to the point where I just don't know what to do anymore. It's either an ECU problem or I do have some bent valves. Bent valves is only leading in my head because I have slightly less compression in cylinder one, about 150 compared to the highest was 172 across all four. With the pinging noise, it makes me think there could be a valve issue. It does appear to be a little bit of rust on the cam gears. I'm sure if you guys are watching the video, you could probably see a little bit of that. I think there was a head gasket problem. They probably repaired it, but there could have been a slight bend on one valve that's causing this misreading across the whole thing. Now, with that to the side, when I was putting this back together last night, I looked at the harness and it appears that one of the wires might be pulled or stretched. I'd be so annoyed, but also very happy if that's all that's wrong with this, but it kind of messes with my mind because I remember checking the voltage on that harness to make sure it was good and it was good. But was I angled it just right where it was creating a connection on the copper, but then when it bends, it shorts out very possible very stupid but very possible right now what i want to do is to start trying to tackle that harness and make sure that it's not kind of stretched like i think it is if it's not and the harness should actually be fine and the next thing i want to do is i want to start cutting open this gear so basically this gear comes with four screws that kind of have like this safety five star heads on them and i don't have that style i only have the six point heads but you can see some burnt oil right on the cam gear itself so i do want to cut these kind of align them and open them with a flat head break this apart and see if the valve inside is destroyed if it's not and everything looks good which i think it might still be broken because there was a bunch of oil pouring out of the camshaft itself when i took off the cam gear so that to me means there was some backed up pressure in here that wasn't releasing so i'm still hoping this is part of the problem if it's not and it actually was fine then the last thing I can come to is that it's an ECU problem or a bent valve. Uh, at that point, I don't know if I'm gonna keep going with the car. I could, I've got so much time into it, and I should. I don't know, we'll have to think about it. I really don't wanna take off the timing cover, oil pan, all that, get down to the head to take out the can. I really don't wanna do all that. I don't know, either way, it's been a long time of getting over these things, so yeah. I think I'm gonna crack away, try to get this harness fixed, kind of see how it goes. Oh, if you're wondering how much I made on the Tucson, I think all said and done, I had about $1,500 into that car. So I believe I made 3,500 bucks. Not bad for the car, horrible for the amount of time I invested in that car. I don't think I made more than seven bucks an hour, something stupid, total waste of time. I'm never doing another one of those. Anyway, I'm gonna go through this wire harness. See you guys in a bit. Okay guys, it wasn't the harness and it wasn't the gear. Gear looked fine. Maybe there was some play to it, but it looked so healthy. I mean, the metal looked fresh. I saw a little bit of uh, burnt oil in the bolt holes connecting it, but that's it, that's the only spot. There was no other burnt or tarnished metal at all. It was beautiful, in fact. I don't know. I'm thinking either bent valves or I'm going to order another variable valve timing solenoid for the back. I got this one out of the junkyard from an engine that looked good. That was the car was smashed and it looked a heck of a lot better than what I had in there. But who knows? Maybe that was the wrong one. Maybe the guys who replaced this one also replaced the wrong one. I don't know. I'm going to go try to order one off of Rock Auto. Hopefully it's here next week. I don't know what else to say. I think that's a wrap for this video. So until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll see you then. Later guys.